Yes, once again, it's another wonderful Wednesday afternoon. And I was thinking about the opportunity that I was given by Inspire Africa and Chukube TV. And I thought to myself, I said, what can I teach these people this afternoon? Then I remembered, I, I said, what if I share my personal experience? Now, let's talk about thinking of marriage. You can, we can now share about these four facts. One of the facts that I'm, I've learned in marriage, for the five years I've spent in marriage, I've realized that in marriage you have to, you have to get, you have to find your own rhythm and you move by it. What do I mean by finding your own rhythm? Sometimes when you're going for marriage, there are these counselings you undergo, then they tell you have to do this, you have to do this, or you have to do that, even the friends are advising. But after a, after a certain time, you have to find your own rhythm by which you'll always move. And when you get that rhythm of yours, things become better. What am I meaning by finding your own rhythm? You, you will find that what other people are sharing, what the other one was sharing, what what was his problem, might not be your problem. But now if you realize your problem and you're this person who decided and, I, and said, I want to be in marriage, I want to do it, how am I going to handle? That is finding your own reason. Then you should learn how, number two, you should learn how to switch to seasons. How do I mean by switching to seasons? When you're single, I remember those days I was single, you would say, I want to wake up at this time, then by this time I'd be at work, then by this time I'd be at home, this time I'd be watching my, my soap. But you have to switch to season. It's no longer that. Because now you'll find in the morning you're preparing some, the children to go to school, then you have to prepare someone's breakfast, then at the end of it all you find that the time you wanted it to be, at the workplace is not the time you are at the workplace. Those are the seasons that you have to switch to because if you don't switch to the season, you'll start getting stressed. You'll be like, eh, I had to be at work by seven. I had to be doing this by this and this time. That is what I mean by switching to seasons. Number three, expectations and options of others do not matter. What others, people, other people's opinions and expectations might not matter in your marriage. Because you as a person, as an individual, there are some things you, 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 you know, you, you set your, for yourself, you say, I should achieve this and this by this time. This time it might be even your mother, your brothers, your friends, the people on social media, they are telling you at this age you're supposed to be having this, at this time you're supposed to be having this, but you as a person you have to sit with yourself and you say, what do I want and how do I achieve it? So it all comes back to you after all, uh, all have talked, after all have advised, after all have done this and this, but you as a person, what do you want? Then when you know what you want is when you can achieve and you say, I'm happy married. Number three, number four, finances. I want to talk about finances. I know, um, I don't know how I should explain it, but oh, I, I normally hear these things of saying, now as a woman, you have to have your own kind of thing, you have to do this and that, but still, if you do that, this and that, does it give you joy? Does it help you realize your goals as, um, as a married woman? For you, how are you taking it? Because I know for marriage to take place and to, to be a successful one, two people are coming together to discuss, do things and settle together. But now if you start saying I'm doing my own things, I'm hiding my money under the kameza, I'm putting it in the bra, how will you be happy when you're not open to each other? Yes, it is very important for one to have his or her own thing, but still as a family, as the two people who have agreed to move together, 
you have to make sure that you have the financial security. The financial security I'm talking about is to see that you're having things together, you're doing things together, you're planning to, together. Because the moment you start saying, I'm going to hide mine, I'm going to do my own things, men can change. But also women can change. So if you want to be in marriage for the little experience I've got, you have to have the financial financial security you plan together you develop together and i think that is when marriage would be a success as for this afternoon that is what i have for you on inspire africa foundation and chukure tv have a blessed afternoon bye